Hello Scorpio, how are you guys? I hope everything is good in your world. This is Debs and this is your weekly TGIF reading for Friday the 20th of October 2023. My goodness guys, firmly heading into the autumn months. Hope everything is good with you and let's dive in. This is a new deck, this is simply called the Star Dreamers Tarot. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the weekly TGIF reading for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Friday the 20th of October 2023. What do we have for my lovely Scorpios? I'm hearing a really old song, saving the best for last, saving the best for last. <laughs> I don't know why I'm now seeing somebody eating a pizza, but they're eating all the outside crust first. So they're saving the best bit for last. Okay, Scorpio, I don't know what you've got planned, but you may be heading towards uh, the best phase of your life. You could be doing the hard graft bit of something and now you're going to be reaping the rewards. Okay, right, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Yes, yes, Michael's saying that's it. Okay, let's see what we've got. All right, Scorpio, I could be connecting with a masculine energy. Scorpio, you're coming through, sitting in the energy of the emperor. Now, you could have been married, all right? Whatever this is, you are taking charge. And I think you have brought down the tower on someone. You brought in the tower. You're taking control. With the energy of the hermit, you may have felt left out in the cold for the longest time. You could have been dealing with an Aries, okay, with the Tower and the Emperor, or a Virgo, or a Capricorn with the Devil. But I'm seeing this as you blowing up Satan, right? Blowing up the Devil. Because whoever this was with the Nine of Cups was overindulgent, I think they were potentially juggling you with the Three of Pentacles with someone else. Might have been doing it for quite a long time, Scorpio. I think you're getting out of Dodge. You're leaving super quick with a chariot. You're moving straight into the Two of Cups, Scorpio. Wow. So you could be heading towards a Cancerian or you are simply deciding to take control for your happiness. Beautiful. All right, guys. Tower of Mystical Moments. What do we have for my lovely Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. For my lovely Scorpios. I'm hearing it was way past time. It was way past time. I'm hearing, why did I wait that long? Okay. You could feel as if you wasted some time, Scorpio, but I feel as if you're taking charge now. Yeah. You're not dealing with this anymore. Whatever this situation was, it was draining you. That's it. Okay. Right. Let's see what we've got here. So I think, Scorpio, with the Two of Swords, you turned a blind eye for quite a long time to what this person was potentially doing. They were hanging on to you with the Four of Pentacles. This is a female who may have been hanging on to you for stability, clutching hold of that property, right? Whilst with the Page of Wands, messaging someone that they were very attracted to. I think this person ended up having a full-blown affair, Scorpio. You may have realised what they were doing and you didn't say anything. But now I feel you're taking charge, Scorpio. You're taking charge with the death card. That's your Scorpio energy. No more. You're putting an end to this. I feel you've been healing with the Four of Swords. And you may well be deciding to reach out over the internet to someone that you've been quietly thinking about. 
maybe somebody from your past, three of wands. You're hoping your ship's going to come in with someone, Scorpio, that I don't think you could ever actually forget, Knight of Cups. Because the final card is the Two of Cups. So Scorpio, you could have fallen in love with someone, but not done anything about it because you were in a long-term relationship. But when you realised that your partner was cheating on you, having a full-blown affair, I think you realised that this long-term relationship was a sham. And I think this is you taking charge and you're going for your happiness. Beautiful. So guys, we're going to be moving into the tarot. Here we go, guys. This is the Legacy of the Divine. Oh, wow. Okay. King of Cups. So Scorpio, I think that I'm dealing with a masculine Scorpio who potentially jumped into a relationship with someone that they loved. So Scorpio, this is you. This is you. Three of coins. I think you put a lot of time and effort into this relationship. But this person became very defensive. Very defensive. Six of Cups. And you may have realised that they were thinking about somebody from their past. So this person may have ended up having an affair with somebody from their past, Scorpio. Nine of Cups, but they ended up moving into overindulgence because Scorpio, they didn't want to let you go. You could have been living in a beautiful home. You could have been engaged, Scorpio. You could have been married to this person. They were gaining some kind of stability from you with the Four of Pentacles, but heading off and having fun with somebody else. And I don't think you could take it anymore. I just think that after a while, you believed you should just end it. The devil, okay. Capricorn, this was just toxic. They could also have been very spendy, Scorpio, with the Nine of Cups, you know, buying things they didn't need, that sort of thing, whilst, I have to say, cheating on you. That's what I feel, yeah. So Scorpio, they were sitting in the Queen of Wands, they weren't faithful to you. They could have fire in their chart. I think, Scorpio, there was one almighty row, and I think you decided to call it quits. That's what I feel. Yeah, Knight of Swords. You, I think, ended up, Scorpio, calling this person out, saying to them, all right, that's it, I'm done. I'm done. The Emperor, you took charge. Yeah, the Emperor twice. You took charge. Oh my goodness, Ten of Swords, you took charge and basically said to this person, I feel betrayed, I feel as if I've supported you, I've been there for you, and you've been cheating on me. What does Scorpio say to this person, guys? Four of Cups, not interested anymore, I, I just don't want this anymore. Wow. I'm having sleepless nights with the Nine of Swords. I've been wondering what to do about this, but I simply can't stay in this situation anymore. Wow. So Scorpio, you had issues with your Empress. With your Empress. Yeah. Eight of Cups, and I think you just walked away. You just walked away. You just couldn't do this anymore. You just couldn't do this anymore. This was just too painful for you. Three of Swords, you were heartbroken. It's as if you really wanted to hang on to this person, but you couldn't deal with their patterns of behaviour. You couldn't deal with it. Four of Swords, I mean, this is you feeling stressed, feeling on your own, having to heal, you know. You ended it. Yeah, with the energy of the world, you ended it. It may have been a long time coming, Scorpio. It may be that your person knew that eventually it was going to end. But I think what you wanted to bring an end to was all the drama. 
You could have called this person out before and they denied it. Yeah, you got fed up with fighting off the competition for this person. You got fed up with the arguments. I think you realise, Scorpio, that enough was enough, you know? Yeah, because they had a lover. They had a lover. Gemini energy. Yeah. They kept sabotaging the connection, running off to be with this other person. So, Seven of Swords, you're putting an end to the Seven of Swords energy. You don't want to be cheated on or lied to anymore. And I think, Scorpio, after a period of healing, taking stock and getting yourself back on terra firma, you know, grounding yourself, you're going to head off to potentially speak to someone that was on your mind from the past. Two of coins. You don't quite know what they're going to say because you may not have spoken to them for a while. But you did have feelings for this person, although you pulled back from doing anything because you were in a relationship, right? Eight of coins. So whilst you try and sort out your finances, because this could have been a relationship where you needed to provide this karmic with money, sadly, even though they cheated on you. Um, I feel you're contemplating moving towards someone else. The death card. Yeah. So while you are going through this transition, I think you are trying to figure out what to say to this person that you want to reacquaint yourself with is the way I'm hearing it. Nice. Two of Wands. You don't quite know what they're going to say. You don't know if they are still single. You don't know what they're going to say. The Chariot. Cancerian Energy. You're wanting to go and see them. You're wanting to talk to them. What about the fact that you've been in a really bad place, Scorpio? Ten of Wands. You're going to talk to them and say, I was in a really bad place before. I couldn't date you because I was in a relationship with someone else, but I did have feelings for you. Are you single? Do you have feelings for me? What do you think about meeting up, going for lunch, going for dinner, something like that? What else is Scorpio going to say? The star. I have been healing. It's been a very painful time for me. I don't have a lot of money left because you might have gone through divorce, Scorpio. Or you might have been giving the mother of your child or children child support. But you've missed this person. You've missed this person. Ace of Wands. And you're hoping for a passionate new start with them. Hmm. Anything else? Page of Cups. They're good at... There could have been some flirtation from the past, Scorpio, and you may be apologising for that. You may have met this person and been a bit flirty or given the impression you were interested and then left. They may not have known that you were in a relationship with someone else. What are you saying to this person? Yeah, Six of Swords. So what you're saying is, I've now left that situation. I'm moving on. I've been thinking about you. Hmm, the moon. I'm a bit nervous because I know you didn't really know the truth of my situation. But I was, in fact, sitting in the Five of Cups. I was very unhappy. I was with a partner who was cheating on me but wouldn't let me go because I was nice and stable. I've now moved into a temperate place, Sagittarian energy. And I really want to see if there's a chance that we can work this out. What is this person going to say to Scorpio? Mm, seven of Cups. This person may say, well, I actually just thought you were dating other people. You weren't that interested in me. You chose somebody else. Or they could say that they were emotionally confused because they may have believed you developed feelings for them, Scorpio, but you didn't take action. Right? What is this person's energy? Yeah, they're single. Nine of Coins. So this is someone who isn't in a relationship with someone else. They are very independent, though. They're very independent. They've been working on their finances with the Seven of Pentacles. 
They may say to you, I thought about you now and again. I was looking at the past and wondered how you were, what you're up to, that sort of thing. What else are they going to say? Six of Wands. They could simply have been concentrating on their career. They could have done quite well in their career. And with the Three of Cups, I think they are quite pleased to see you. <laughs> I think this is somebody who's going to say, yeah, OK, let's go out. Let's catch up. My goodness, it's been a while. Tell me all about it. Yeah, this is somebody pretty chilled. So, Scorpio, I don't think you broke this person's heart or anything. I just think this is someone that you were attracted to in the past. There may have been a dalliance, you know. Um, I think you walked away from this. I don't think they chased you. I think they just let you go. Um, they got on with their life. And this is you coming back to them to say, well, the real reason why I didn't put effort in with you is that, I'm sorry, I was in a relationship with someone else, but I was very unhappy. But now I've decided to end it because my person was cheating on me. Um, I wondered if you wanted to date. I think it's going to be simply that. All right. So Scorpio, what exactly are you manifesting? Let's have a look. Oh, magician. Well, you're manifesting something. <laughs> Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, energy. Who are you manifesting? What are you manifesting? Oh, you're manifesting being up in your head. Okay. Are you a bit nervous? What is Scorpio manifesting? A Leo with the sun? Maybe you feel this person would make you incredibly happy. You could, you know, build a beautiful life with this person. This is someone that you can imagine spending the rest of your life with, but you're nervous. Hmm. What are you nervous about, Scorpio? New love. Okay. So Scorpio, basically, guys, you've been through it. I mean, if you're nervous about new love, it's just because you dealt with a very toxic situation in the past that you may have felt you didn't have control of, you know, um... I think this is you worried about being burned again. What is Scorpio worried about? Yeah, that this is going to disintegrate as your previous connection did. You're worried you're not going to be able to hang on to this person. What is this person's energy? This person that you're moving towards? Judgment. They're trying to make a decision too. They're not sure either. Could be a Sag. What is this person's energy? Hangman. They now see things from your perspective, from your point of view, that you were in a rough relationship. I don't see this person moving very quickly into a commitment, Scorpio. So I don't think you need to be worried about this person wanting to lock you down in two seconds flat. I think they're pretty happy to just chill. I don't think they're wanting to, you know, pressure you to walk down the aisle or anything. Justice. I think they're just happy because you guys are now in a balanced place. Could be a Libra. I think this person, given the fact they're sitting in success and pentacles energy, they could have a lot of work on their plate. So this is somebody who probably couldn't see you that regularly anyway. I think they're just happy to balance out the situation with you. You know, they know the truth. Um, and I don't think this person is angry or vengeful or anything like that. Because to be honest with you, Scorpio, I don't think you guys fell in love. I think this was just a light flirtation from the past. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So, I feel the Divine is pushing you both onto a new path, which is kind of nice. Page of Swords. Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of very in-depth, interesting conversations with this person. Both of you are going to be completely honest with each other. Nothing hidden. Total clarity going forward. You may even find that this sort of builds into almost more of a friendship. I've got to be honest, Scorpio. Now, if you're interested in this person romantically, you may be disappointed. But I feel that this person could end up being a good friend. But if there's chemistry between the two of you, 
It may move into a relationship later on down the line, but I don't think, Scorpio, that they feel you're ready because you've just been through this. And this is somebody very busy, so I think this could be a slow burn connection. Yeah, no rush, Scorpio, no rush. Page of coins. Um, this is really sweet. This is you guys having long conversations, getting to know each other at a deeper level, you going to their house, turning up with a gift, vice versa. It's going to be kind of nice. No pressure. No pressure, Scorpio. Ace of Swords. I feel there's a massive sense of relief because you are able to tell this person the real situation you were in. They're going to see your point of view and understand why you didn't press to move into a commitment with them because you were involved with somebody else. And I think this person is simply going to enjoy spending time with you. And maybe giving you the time that you need to heal fully from what you've been through in the past. Yeah. Where is this going to go, Michael? The strength card. Okay, Leo. You may totally respect this person's wish to keep this at a friendship level for a period of time. So you're going to hold back talking about intimacy, right? But I do think there's an attraction between the two of you, but this is going to take its time. Yeah, page of wands. I mean, there's going to be some light flirtation, but I don't think you two are going to move straight into an intimate connection. Partly because I don't think this person has a lot of time. Partly because you're still wrapping up this past situation. Yeah, but I do think this has an opportunity of working out maybe in the future. Faith card, yeah. You're potentially going to be keeping the faith that this may work out in the future as a relationship. You could, of course, be connecting to a Torian. I feel as if this is going to be a slow burn relationship. But whoever this is, Scorpio, may decide to put you in the friend zone for a period of time. Because, you know, if you didn't reveal your true situation before, they're going to want to know who you are, right? Um, what your situation was. They're going to want you to be open and honest with them. But I think this could work out in the future. Just be patient. Yeah. So, guys, let's move into messages. So, here we go. Charming Oracle Secret Love Messages. So, Scorpio, let's see what you'd want to say to this person. Let's start with you first. Mm. I'm letting go of old ways and leaving toxic people and situations behind. I want a better life for myself, a new beginning. So this is a new you, Scorpio. You're single. You've come free of a very toxic relationship. And I think you're looking forward to a bright future. Okay. I have a lot of insecurities that are holding me back from reaching out to you. I'm working on myself to become more confident. All right, so a few insecurities there, Scorpio, but I'm not surprised if you were in a toxic relationship, right? Okay. Lovely. I want to be honest with you and tell you what is really going on in my life right now. Yeah, there's going to be a cards on the table series of conversations. And I feel that once it's all out in the open, you guys can relax, both of you. Maybe this is someone, Scorpio, that was almost like a friend, but there was an attraction that you just cut off because I think you were dealing with a toxic home life. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I miss you so much. I want to see you soon. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I'm thinking about sending you a message because I want to explain things to you. So Scorpio, rather than picking up the phone, if it's awkward to talk, you may decide to send this person a text message or even an email. You know, this is actually what happened. This is a situation that I'm ending. Um, I'd like to see you. Simply that. I want to start a friendship first before we take this to the next level. I want to take things step by step. No rush. Yeah, Scorpio, I think you've been burned in this previous connection. Um, and this is you really nervous that this isn't going to last. 
I think this is a really good way of starting a relationship because you've got to be friends first, right? <laughs> you've got to actually like each other and get to know each other. And I think this person's on board. I think they'll feel that's a good plan. All right, final message from you to this person. Yeah, wow. I'm going through a difficult time right now. I'm healing my issues and slowly becoming the person you deserve. I want to do this right, which is why I'm taking my time. Lovely Scorpio. No rushing. No rushing. I think you're simply going to put your cards on the table, be open and honest. You guys are going to have lots of conversations. You're going to be really good friends. There is going to be an attraction, but I feel that both of you are going to hold back from dipping into that until you're both really ready. Lovely. Now, guys, let's get messages from your person. All right, here we go, guys. What would this person want to say to Scorpio, Michael? A lot of big changes have happened. I'm trying to figure things out. Okay, so a lot's happened in this person's life. So it may have been a while since you guys spoke, got together. I learned so much from you, even if you don't know that. Thank you. This person learned a lot from this connection with you, however long it lasted. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to do this with my head, not my heart. This is someone who may have been heartbroken by other people, so they may have trouble in opening up to love right so friendship is the way to go basically i feel they're a little bit held back scorpio you know take it slow yeah i have to focus on money and financial stability right now i think you're dealing with someone who's into their career they may have been hurt in the past so they channeled all their time and energy into that you know I know who you are to me. I recognize and acknowledge the connection. I just can't do this right now. Okay, yeah. So they are firmly focused on their stability, on their career. They could be trying to get a promotion. They could be building a business. Whatever this person is doing, they're focused on that. So Scorpio, just chill. Enjoy the connection for what it is. Be friends with this person with the view that if there's an attraction then this is probably going to move into a relationship later on down the line. But I think you're going to be happy with that. Let's start with a friendship. I'm healing my issues. I want to take my time. I'm working on myself to become more confident. Yeah. So both of you have your own little issues, but I think in time this could work out. All right. So don't give up. <laughs> All right, my lovely Scorpios, have a wonderful weekend, whatever you've got planned. Take care of you, and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, guys.